All right, so we're ready for photos out in the fall. So I know it's cold. Um, it's a lot colder than it was a few weeks ago and it's not as cold as it's going to be in winter so here are some tips on kind of what i like to bring along and tell other people to bring along uh, to these photo shoots i'm going to be doing a separate one during the winter because the winter is different talk about warmth first and then kind of go into like styling afterwards but um gloves gloves you can take off gloves are super important they should not be underrated so what gloves can do hands like when you're moving to different locations to stay warm and to not get red that is the biggest thing that i have had to edit out when i was first starting is red hands red hands just make everybody look cold and it doesn't look good so get gloves uh, you want to make sure that you layer so have things underneath what you're mainly wearing even if it's like a lighter lighter cloth or something something that can be hidden white white is really good because it can get hidden really easily or black can be hidden really easily but anything that can keep you warm and so that you can actually stay outside and not, don't have to like run back to your car or run inside um, even though you can do those things but the next thing that I want to bring up is the weather and shooting with the weather. I know I know it feels colder during the fall as far as wind, wind gusts, and that's really bad in Wisconsin here, especially in Milwaukee, it gets very windy. You want to bring something that can withstand that and kind of block off that wind, even if it's like an ex that wind. I believe it's this type of fabric that allows it allows you to do that. Uh, and the fall is kind of hit or miss. There's only like maybe two or three, three months or like eight weeks where it's really nice and really bright and vibrant outside. And that's kind of like the time that I'm speaking about. Nylon is also a great material to use if it is raining during your photo shoot. Is it? So what happens if you forget something? So I was looking back on the notes for this and I realized that this might sound a little dramatic but uh, some of the things that can happen if you forget something uh, that will like keep you warm is you'll either get like very very like still and stiff uh, during the photo shoot uh, like i said before your hands will get red you'll get red and your photos will show that redness whether it be on your nose or your ears um, so if you have a hood or if you have something over your head that'd be fantastic but just keep those things in mind because um, you can edit those things out later and I've done that before. Uh, it's no problem, but it might just take a little bit more time to edit those or <clears throat> get your photographer to edit them. Uh, so there's that. It can, it can also be really uncomfortable being cold during a photo shoot. I know that I have had that happen multiple times and sometimes uh, even like getting getting things canceled just because it was so cold um, or having to reshoot reschedule um, and sometimes you really do need to reschedule but um, I think there if you dress appropriately and you style the shoot um, knowing that that's going to be an issue is the weather um, that season uh, fall season uh, you should be okay now as far as styling I want to just give a general rundown of what you should wear and what you shouldn't wear um, common things to wear to put on are things with no logo so don't have any logo stuff on your shirt um, try and avoid like prints like this um, but this print is okay I guess but um, it's a little bit a lot it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to look at um, clean clean shirts are the best practice um, patterns are okay but they can be distracting depending on what what the aim of the photo shoot is um, as far as some other styling ideas dresses or suits or something more casual those kind of things work uh, for photo shoots like this additional inspiration I would highly recommend either Instagram or Pinterest uh, you can find both 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 of my handles on there um, also check out the other videos around the channel I did two other videos uh, best time of day for fall photo shoots and then 
uh, just an overview, a whole guide on fall photo shoots and timing and yeah. So have a great day and hope you guys create something cool today. What kind of lighting do I use for my videos? So usually it's always the same light, but um, I'm surrounded pretty much by like my front is all natural lighting sometimes, most of the time. Otherwise I use this newer Vision 5.